Coming off a heck of a week uh, for our program, two top ten ranked teams. Uh, I thought we grew as the week went on. Uh, I thought we learned. Uh, obviously, the San Diego State loss was frustrating, humbling loss. Uh, I thought at BYU we played more how I hoped we'd play in those hostile environments. Uh, we handled runs better. Uh, we played better offensively at BYU, and I thought our defense was very, very good. Uh, continually have to work on our turnover issue, uh, getting turnovers from a lot of different areas, a lot of different places, uh, try to analyze them the best that I can. Uh, I think the biggest thing is, is we have too many of them. Uh, obviously, that's a concern. It's been a concern all year. We've had games where we've done a good job. I think under 13 or under is pretty good for this group of guys, the way we want to play. Uh, obviously, above 13 is, is real dangerous for this team. We have to get shots on goal and can't give them turnovers for touchdowns. And uh, that's an issue as we go forward. Um, big week for us, home game, road game. Uh, Wyoming's got a little bit of a new team. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, disappointed in uh, Heath Schroyer, you know, not coaching that team for him and his family. Um, Fred has taken over and uh, playing a little differently than he did. More pressure defense, more full court defense, uh, playing more guys and uh, a little more wide open offensively. Uh, and they are healthy, which I think is a big plus for this group of guys. They have their health back. Uh, Waddell, uh, Lester, or Luster, and uh, Embi and Chom seem to be all healthy. So. Uh, they're playing good basketball, very competitive at New Mexico, and a big win over TCU Saturday. Well, I think we filed the game plan. You know, I think our game plan was solid. We wanted to play at pace. We wanted to keep, uh, keep the pace where we wanted it. I thought we walked it up when we needed to. We executed when we needed to. Uh, we got layups at the rim. Uh, didn't get a whole bunch of layups in game one. Um, I did think our, I mentioned earlier our turnovers where they could run out and get layups hurt us. When they had to pick, take the ball to the net and come through our defense, our defense was very good. Uh, our game goal was 12 points a half for Jimmer. He had 23. Um, you know, our game goal was six made three pointers. They made four. They make, I think, close to 11 in that building. So uh, defensively, J.J. O'Brien, I thought, was terrific. And, um, you know, I think there was a lot of 50-50 calls in there that uh, were impacted the game, too, at both ends, you know. And uh, that's, that's part of the game. But uh, we shoot eight free throws, and, and uh, what they shoot, 24? 24. 24. So we can analyze that any way you want it, but that's big disparity and uh, a little difficult to swallow. It's not a distraction for me, um, you, you know, uh, I mean, I've, I've had that since day one when I got here. Uh, so I, I, I've not, uh, you know, it's harder on the people around you uh, than me. I've just tried to coach and teach this team. And um, that's the only thing I have control over is how I coach and teach these guys and develop these guys. So um, that's what I take pride in and that's what I will keep trying to do. So, well, defensively, we're much better. That's a big key. I think toughness-wise, we're much better, although we're young and inexperienced. Uh, APR, we're top 10 in the country. Grade point, we're over a three point. Compliance, uh, we have no compliance issues. We follow the rules. Um, so our guys go to class. I've graduated every senior in this program. Well, I, I think people have short memory. Um, we won the championship and the league tournament two years ago with four seniors. And um, we were picked fifth that year. So, uh, but we kept that group together for two years and we had a trip to Australia, uh, which where we played six games, I think. So we had that team together, that group of guys, that core group of guys together, and um, we built them into a winner. That was an 11 win team we took over the year we got here, 11 wins. So um, my job is to install a system and get guys to play in the system. And with new guys, inexperienced guys, it takes time. 
Um, in saying that, we have to play good basketball. And uh, there's times when we played very good basketball and not won. Okay, so uh, that's an issue. Yeah, well, I, I thought we did a good job of sharing the ball and moving it. Uh, we got dunks at the rim, layups for David, uh, high percentage plays for him. Uh, he's also improved his jump hook. I think he's more comfortable with that left knee where he can pivot off that left knee and throw that jump hook with his right hand. And that's been a big plus for us and a big plus for him. I think we're still getting used to how to play with this center. Uh, I've got a lot of guys that never played with the center before ever in their life. And, uh, you know, Will was a center in high school at times, <laughs> you know, so, and, and JJ O'Brien was a center at times in high school, guarded the center and played the center. And he also played the point and guarded the point. So a lot of it is playing with the center too. It takes a while to learn how to do that. And uh, I think we're starting to get a feel for that. And David's feeling more comfortable. And um, when we can play over the defense with him, uh, it really helps us.